Hey everybody, welcome to this GTN Niche client guide on how to get Greg Tech New Horizons running on your client uh, and uh, being able to connect to a server basically. So this guide is aimed for the Stone Legion server. That being said, you can use easily grab the latest client from the GTNH Discord. Just go to announcements and literally they post them here. So the one you always want is the MMC archive uh, archive for Java 17 plus. We'll be using uh, Java 21 um, for this. Now, um, I always just update it here anyways. We basically are on the newest version. Sometimes we wait a week or two. So if you want to bookmark our website, which will be in the description, you can do that as well. So uh, let's get started. So this is uh, custom tailored to the Prism Launcher instance. Um, so we're going to just go to that site first and we're going to download the portable edition. I always download the portable edition. Yes, I know it's not for everyone, but it's my my type of thing. Now I'm using uh, Win7, uh, not Win7, uh, 7-Zip. It looks a little different than your normal pop-up, but it's the same idea. So we're going to just make a folder. We're going to call it Prism on your desktop. Or wherever you want to install it, right? And we're just going to make sure we select all the files in here. We're going to just drag them in here. Done. That's it. That's as simple as that. Now, we're going to open Prism. Open on my, on my other monitor. And we're just going to double-click Prism Launcher right here. And then you're going to see language settings. So lots of options here. Uh, we're just going to go next. Uh, minimum memory settings. Usually what I like to do is do Minimax and... Um, I always like a minimum anyways, no matter what I'm running. So I'm going to do calculator here. I'm going to do 1024 times 6. Um, I always usually do 8, but uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do 1024 times 8. To be fair, you're probably better off with um, doing... Uh, I was going to say, there you go. Then replace it. You're probably better off doing uh, six gigs because you don't really need, if you're, especially if you're playing uh, multiplayer, you don't really need eight gigs for single player usually. But uh, either way, uh, we're gonna put it there. Auto detect Java version auto download uh, from Mojang, which is awesome. And there's a kitty cat here. Some more information you can mess with. Uh, add a Microsoft account. So basically, uh, you get this code and you sign in with Microsoft. So either you do either or. So I'll do sign in with Microsoft. I'm doing another uh, another one here, so you're not going to see it, but I'm just going to click, okay, sign in. And there you go. You can see it's signing in now here. And then boom. And then I guess it minimized on us. There you go. Yeah, apparently a minimizer went behind this folder. So we can close all this again. And this is great. So the only thing we now need to do is download, um, Download what we've done here. So we're going to go back to the Prism Launcher page here. We're just going to go back here. And then we're just going to literally download the mod pack now. Uh, I think these days you can just click on it. I just said right click and save as. You could probably just download it, I think. And yeah, you're fine. And now it's just downloading over here. So this will take a couple of minutes. Uh, it is 500 megabytes and it's slightly growing over time. That's because it's basically the biggest mod pack out there. And when I say biggest mod pack, I don't mean, oh, some guy shoved 400 mods into a pack. There is no other pack as big and in depth as GTN New Horizons, just not even close. What we're gonna do with this one, this one's interesting. I'm just gonna do this to be silly. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take this and drag it on the instance. Yes, this is how cool this is. So we're gonna drag it on there. I think I did it right. Yeah, it takes a minute because it's a big pack, so it has to, like, analyze it. I'm doing air quotes on it, by the way. And we're going to go, okay, please do that. It's going to do all the things it needs. So it's going to download stuff, extract it, comb your hair, you know, whatever it needs to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right-click and go to edit here. Now, this is a good place to change your settings. So, like, maybe you want different custom settings per, per server. So this is where you can go to settings and... Redo your memory settings here, for example. We're going to do the Java installation here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to download Java here. And we're going to actually tell it to download Java 21. Now, I don't know how it works with this one. It might have actually done it fine for us. But I always like to do things manual just to make sure it's done correctly. You know what I mean? Because the Java 21 is the new version. So now that it's done that, what we can do is auto detect. There we go. We have Java 21.03. We're going to go OK. We're going to go close. And then we're going to double click this and boom, we are now launching 
it has to download the Mojang resource for the first time. Uh, if you're not used to using like even the vanilla Minecraft client, it would do something similar. Uh, all of them basically, you know, they when you first launch, normally need to download everything uh, just to get it up and running. And there you go. And this, my friends, is Greg Tech New Horizons. This is the new version 2.7.0. Uh, we're using an RC3 build. In two days, the actual just 2.7.0 comes out. Um, but uh, yeah, simple and easy. And I'll show you in game just uh, how the uh, new version is. We'll come back here in a second here. There you go. So it took about a minute and a bit for me. Um, depending on your computer, it might take longer, obviously. So keep that in mind. Uh, so then, yeah, we're, we're here in the thing. So we have a server we'll be setting up. Let's just go single player here for fun. Uh, let's create a, just a, you know, one here. We're just going to double check. You make sure we are using the correct Java version. We should be. And then uh, we'll go in and test this. But yeah, GT and H, I can't believe this. This is uh, their biggest update yet for the 2.7.0. Keep in mind, this video might be when you're playing 2.8, 2.9, you know, 3.0, whatever. Um, this is for uh, everyone and anyone. Basically, it's just a guide to help you out. But uh, either way, at the time recording this, this is their biggest update uh, to date. So with the 10th anniversary, so we're just going to hit uh, F3 here. And then you can see at the top right here, Java 21.0.3. Uh, this has also shaders now. So if you didn't know about shaders, you can go to uh, video settings. And I can get rid of the stupid E. Get away! <laughs> I can't believe that's in the way. Uh, you can go to shader packs and then basically you can open a folder here and you can just drag them in here and then basically just hit refresh. Uh, it doesn't actively search uh, the folder like some of the other ones do. And then you can add them in here as well. And they have all the little settings, lots of settings here, especially like what you would see in modern Minecraft versions backported to uh, this version. So. Either way, my friends, I hope this uh, video guide helped you and uh, enjoy Greg Tech New Horizons. Have a good day. Bye.